Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. A man was killed by police during an alleged confrontation in Davidton, Manchester on Saturday morning. Relatives named the deceased as Andrew Knight, otherwise called Baxa, a 41 years old construction worker and resident of Davidton. Head of the Manchester Police, Deputy Superintendent Kerry Duncans told journalists that the man confronted the police and a 9mm pistol was seized. Around 4.30 am, the police team came to this location, David Tan, with the intention of executing a search warrant, the house was breaches, and on entering. They were confronted by a man who armed with a firearm. The police responded, and the man was shot and injured. He was taken to the Mandeville Regional Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. One firearm was also recovered, said Duncans. Relatives were reluctant to speak on the record to the media. At the scene, they however questioned the police version of incident. The Independent Commission of Investigation in the com is probing the incident. Detectives from the Criminal Investigation Branch CIB in Trelawney are probing the murder of a man who was shot and killed by an unknown assailant in Cooper's Pen in the parish on Wednesday night. The deceased has been identified as 32 years old, Durant Burke, otherwise called Crime of Egg District, Trelawney. According to the Cooperative Communication Unit, the police information armed. About 11.49 p.m., Burke was sitting among a group of people when they were approached by a lone gunman who opened gunfire at him before escaping in a black Toyota Voxy motor vehicle. The police were summoned and on their arrival, Burke was seen with gunshot wounds to the upper body. He was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. The Kingston East Police Division seized several rounds of ammunition during a snap raid along West Avenue, Elliston Road in the parish on Friday, May 17. Reports are that about 3 p.m., a team of officers were in the mentioned area when a also search and a plastic bag containing 15 9mm cartridges was found to the rear of the premises. No one was taken into custody in relation to the fine. Investigation continue. 32 years old, Roshane Miller of Manning's Hill District, Stony Hill, PO, has been charged with owning with intent, with the use of a firearm, position of a prohibited weapon, and an authorized position of ammunition, following an incident which occurred in Lawrence Tavern, St. Andrew, on Monday, April 22. Reports from the Lawrence Tavern Police are that about 8 a.m., Miller was the driver of a motor car that drove up with a group of men, all armed, with handguns who opened gunfire at three men. The police were summoned and the injured man taken to hospital where all three were admitted and treated for gunshot wounds to their upper body. Miller was charged after being pointed out during an identification parade. His court date is being finalized. The St. Elizabeth police have detained six male students who are suspected to have been Involved in an alleged housebreaking incident in the parish, the boys aged 13 to 16 years all attend a permanent high school in the parish. The boys were arrested at a premises in the Melbourne area where they were said to be boarding. They were taken in and due to an ongoing investigation for housebreaking in, said Superintendent College Mentor, head of the St. Elizabeth Police, in an interview with reporters at the sideline of the ground. Breaking ceremony for friendship. Oaks, phase one in Goshen in the parish. He added that eight televisions were recovered at the premises where the raid was conducted. In noting that investigations are still ongoing, Minta said representation have been made at the court to decide whether or not we will grant them bail or to remanded them. He said the police provided the necessary support to the youngsters.